Well, welcome back into uh, another week of Fox Carolina Tailgate, joined by Corey Miller and Patrick Sapp. All right, you guys, we are still a week out from kickoff of the college football season for both South Carolina and Clemson. But I want to talk a little bit about that national landscape of college football this year. There's so much that's been going on in it. Uh, and when you look at the AP Top 25, I think this is a, a poll that comes out. The preseason poll, I really struggle with polls, because especially the preseason one, because it's so much more about last year than it was this year. For me, I, I'm struggling with Georgia. I, I'm interested to see if they're going to be able to come back, do it again, and be that team on top of not only the SEC, but of the nation as well. And I'm interested to hear from you guys when you look at that poll, what it is for you guys that stands out, who you're interested in, who who's your, you know, who are you doubting the most? What jumps out to you? Uh, for me, I would say nobody did any work on this poll. I mean, you really just look at what guys did last year. Right. And you just pick the top teams and put them in the top four. But who's coming back? Who has a quarterback? Who has an offense that you return some starters or has some depth? Uh, and, and when you look at that, you look at Georgia being number one. Uh, I think they are top four team. Number one, I'm not sure. Uh, but you got to put them in that top four uh, as Jews because they are talented. Uh, but I think Texas A&M, I think that's a team that interests me because – they have recruited so much talent over these years, and now it has to come for, to fruition. But, you know, with the head coach, I think he's kind of in that area being on the hot seat a little bit right now. I think that pressure's there. Mm -hmm. People want them to win. But with the talent that they have on that roster, uh, they should finish somewhere in that top 10, top 12 this year. Wow. Well, <laughs> again, you never disappoint <laughs> with some crazy thoughts. I mean, you really do. Listen. <laughs> Georgia, you have to put them there at number one because they have won back-to-back -back national championships. Right. We discussed how they lost players. The last year they lost so many defensive players. They can't be good. Well, what happened? They were good. Now, by stats, they weren't as good. But Georgia is, okay, I'm fine with them being number one, guys. Uh, I don't think they're the number one team. In fact, I don't know who the number one team is. We don't know. I mean, you just kind of throw names out there and you look at recruiting, you look who's coming back. But we don't know who's the best team. It will play itself out. Georgia's schedule is powder puff. I mean, so they're going to walk through that. Alabama, I can tell you, I was at the scrimmage. They're loaded with talent. Loaded with talent. We can talk about quarterback controversy. Well, I can tell you, they got four guys that can play. Four guys that can play winning football. They're running back room, best in the country. I'll stand on that. Tight end room, which you like to talk about, loaded. Loaded. So I don't, but I don't know where they are. I'm not buying AM because of Jimbo Fisher. Terrible. I mean, he brought in a new offense coordinator. Is he going to let him call the plays or is he going to take the plays? I mean, so I don't know. I don't buy uh, preseason polls. I don't buy all these uh, preseason awards. These dudes don't know what they girls, whoever, they don't know what they're talking about. Let it play out. Give me four weeks. And then let's start a poll. But not now. Come on, guys. When you look at this list of teams, when you look at that poll, who are you most intrigued by? Like, who do you think? Obviously, you know firsthand, you've seen it, that Alabama has the talent. I think anybody who counts out Alabama ever is just fooling themselves and trying to make a big bet. But when you look at that, is there a team that jumps out to you that you're like, oh, they might be dangerous. They're, they might be flying well, under the radar. They might be I'm, a team I'm, that you're I'm interested in. I'm going to give you in. something real quick. Three teams that I think are overrated in the top two. Okay, Florida State, Clemson, and LSU. Now, everybody's jumping on LSU's bandwagon. I know they beat Alabama and, and you know, a fluke play last year. Shouldn't have won that game. They got Jaden Daniels coming back. But Clemson, they lost four games last year. Florida State is a team that everybody thinks they're going to be good. I know they, they ended well last year. I ain't buying it. I so, think so those three teams are over, I was trying, overrated. Trying to stay away from Clemson, right? That's the obvious, right? right? We know, well, you know we, we know that's my team. No, no, no. I didn't talk about them because I Don't think they're deserving about? of their ranking. But when you say they're how? overrated, let me, let me how can you say how? that? How are they do? I mean, this team lost four games last year and got blown out by a team that's ranked behind them. In Tennessee, they got blown out by the backup quarterback. And with so many receivers not playing, how in God's because name? Because everybody, so we'll, we'll start with the wide receiver position. Everybody's healthy this year. Last year, you really had 
second and third string guys playing wide right receiver on that team. You had a quarterback that, again, was beat up in the oh, media, boy. and I, I wouldn't say, I would say deservedly so. DJ. Yeah, DJ was beat up in the media, lost a lot of confidence. You had an OC first time, he was nervous, didn't ever really pan out in his, his situation. And so you had a lot of things going wrong offensively with that team last year. And so you got a new quarterback. You, know, you got a new OC. You got all these guys back. Adam Randall's back. Bo Collins back. All those guys are back, right? Mm -hmm. That team is going to compete. They're going to compete in their schedule, compete. and they're going to win the ACC. By well, doing that, they have opportunity to get into the playoffs. Since we buying all this hype. They're hey, not, we, you I just said. I Florida State is picked to win you, the ACC. Yeah, you just said preseason <laughs> rankings. No, but don't I'm, 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 I'm buying his logic. Oh, now, yeah. I don't buy it. But listen. You talk about these receivers, right? Bo Collins and whoever else you said. What have they done? They've they, been they injured. Proven they've themselves. had they've had the they, they've had the injury bug. They ain't done nothing. My injury bug. Clemson. I, we had on my radio show the Miller's Edge. My son and I we must plug that on Tide One Hundred in Tuscaloosa. We had <laughs> Josh Pate on the other day and Marty Smith of ESPN right? just yesterday. Josh Pate said the most overrated team. This guy does his homework. It's the Clemson Tigers. And he talked about the wide receiver room or the lack thereof. So I get it. You're, you're alumni. But did he do his homework on last would, year or has he yes, been to practice yes. and seen them performing nah, this, based this on year? This year. I, so he's been They've to been practice and he's he seen he them. Okay. Tour. Listen. That's we'll a pain see. because these guys don't have the stats. But it's like any team, every team go. in the country is you got guys every year that has to prove themselves. But what else do you we have, have to stars go on? appear. That's my point to preseason rank. We don't yeah. have anything else. But if I want to base something on what I saw last year, let me tell you what I saw. Not much of nothing at the wide receiver position. You can tell I me can all these guys. I, know, I agree with that. I agree I with that. There's zero. no argument there. Hmm? There's no argument yeah, there. I agree and with let me that. go let me go further. Shall I? This quarterback that y'all riding the dying with, I'm not sold. DJ Uyunglele, yeah, and I said that correctly, is the starter <laughs> at Oregon State. You guys kicked them out of the club. You kicked hey. them out and say, we don't want you to this guy. That balls. What's going to happen when Oregon friend, State wins the Pac-12 <sighs> and ends up in the college football Y'all are the celebrity uh, legends. Let me, let me bring in my, my, my friend's son. Who, <laughs> you know, no, here's what I would say about that. You. Now, if you remember what I said about DJ last year, I never said he wasn't a talented quarterback. You said I never said that. I, s <laughs> I did not say he was the number one pick. <laughs> I said first round he could be a first-round draft pick. But what I said to you is what we were asking him to do at Clemson did not fit his style of play, and we didn't adjust. That's Therefore, true. he suffered, and he's gone so elsewhere. Then, but, but did you bring in Riley? This, this everybody wants offensive coordinator from TCU. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, didn't they get beat 65 to seven? This offensive coordinator that you brought in put seven Less points talent, on the man. Georgia Bulldogs, Less talent. but in Less him talent. to trust. Less we talent. deal with facts. This is the factual side over here, folks. I deal with the facts. And you can be, Dabo, I heard his speeches. Every class wanted that. I heard all of that. I heard him preaching. I heard him. You heard the sermon? Yeah. I didn't put no money in the collection plate because he didn't sell me. You're not selling me with that. It's going to take more than well, we have, we have plenty more to talk about, including uh, the adjustment of the ACC that could be coming sooner rather than later uh, with conference realignment, uh, we which we will, we will dive in on uh, when we come back. Right now, we'll toss it over to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent for a look at this weekend's weather.